A dream big. A dream big. A dream big. A dream big. Yeah, say it with me now. A dream big. A dream big. <laughs> Hello and welcome. Coach Tony here. I'm having too much fun in my office. And on today's video, we really are going to be dreaming big. We're gonna be going deeper in the manifestation process than ever before. And I'm super excited to share with you my dream big exercise that I put my clients through. And it's a deeper level practice that I really wanna start sharing on my channel. There's not a reason why you can't be living your dreams. And that's what we're gonna discover throughout this exercise. So if that sounds cool and you wanna have some fun with me here, make sure you hit that like button below. I really appreciate that. And that'll actually help YouTube share this and show this with a lot more people. So let's jump right in. I'm gonna actually share my screen with you here and I wanna get started right away. And here is the exercise. And I'm actually gonna have a link to this below so you can actually download a copy of it for yourself. I call this the dream big exercise. It is the most powerful deliberate manifestation exercise that I am aware of. And like I said, it's a culmination of many different programs that I've been through, and it's all distilled down into this one document. So we start with the D in dream, which is desire. There's likely one thing in your life right now that if you had it, it would solve all of your problems and or make you feel way better in your life right now. And that's what we want to drill down to. So yes, you might have lots of desires, but what's the biggest one right now? Like what's the biggest pressing one right now that you have? And we want to be super clear with it. One of the biggest challenges in our manifestation journey is being super clear on what it is that you desire. Oftentimes we kind of go vague in general with a desire and it's not enough for you to connect with it, number one, and for the universe to provide it to you, number two. So you've got to be super clear, like you're tuning yourself to a radio station. Like it's not good enough to just get to, you know, close to that station. you got to tune exactly to the station that you desire to listen to whatever it is you want to listen to. It's the same exact way with manifesting deliberately is you've got to be super clear on what it is you desire, like, like down to the most minute detail. You want to really spell it out so that the universe knows and you connect with it. And there's a reason why you can get that detailed is because you're connecting with that desire. And so I want to come back to you here because this is the very first setting off point. If we get this wrong, the rest of the manifestation process around this desire is not going to be as effective. Okay. So just like placing an order for food or clothes, right? What size would you want? What color would you want? How much of it do you want? If you want a certain amount of money, right? And one of the biggest secrets to this desire is authenticity. Like you want to be able to connect to it at the most authentic and an intimate level. And the example I use in this document here is, you know, although you may want a hundred million dollars, like you want a lot more money when you really sit down and think about it, an extra 50 K a month might be most amazing for you right now in your life. So the question you can ask yourself right now is what do you want most? This will help you narrow down what it is that you desire at the deepest level. And what do you want most right now is it'll put it in the present moment for you. So what do you want most right now? Take some time, pause this video if you need to, to answer that question for yourself. Or like I said, download this document and go through it afterwards and really sit down. And honestly, I recommend taking about 20 minutes to 30 minutes even to go through this entire document or break it up in chunks, like take three to five minutes on each of these letters, right? For dream big. And then just spend three to five minutes answering the questions for yourself. And it is going to be the most enlightening process. I promise you. You might make more progress with using this document than you have in years of practicing manifesting the, the way you have been. And if that is the case, don't worry, because this is what happens. Like you live and you learn and you realize you reiterate and you understand it better and differently. And you get to see the whole picture and you get to connect with it at a different level. And it's all about feeling. If you, if you know anything about law of attraction and manifestation, it's all about the feeling. So this will help you get connected at that deepest level. Okay, so let's get to the next one. Receive is the R in dream. Okay, receive or rehearse. So for this one, this one's fun. I just want you to close your eyes and imagine that you've already received it. A genie says, hey, your wish is my command. And you now have your desire. If you answer these questions and you run into any challenges, I have a bonus tip that you can even go out ahead of time here and imagine that you received your desire a few months ago. What would life look like, right? Like what would be different about you or your life? What would you be doing now that you have your desire? 
how would you be showing up now? How would others be perceiving you? You get to start to look at life from the perspective of having your desire with this little part of the exercise. And it's extremely powerful. You're mentally rehearsing, you're getting your desire. And this is basically like practicing for the game, right? The game is when you get your desire, but you're practicing for the game right now, okay? The next level here is we emotionalize the desire and having of it. So your mind doesn't know the difference between what's real or imagined. Like an event or a memory that you have, it doesn't know if it's happening or if it happened 20 years ago. When something happens in your life and it causes you to feel an extreme level of emotion and you don't let go of it actually, the next time you conjure it up or something similar happens, your body is going to respond just like it did during the original event. So for example, let's just say you were made fun of in school for wearing a tank top. This is kind of a silly example, but then ever since then, you stopped wearing tank tops because somebody made fun of you for wearing one, right? It's That's a kind of a simple idea, but it's the same idea with every area of our life, actually. The first time something happens to us and it makes us feel bad or stupid or dumb, or, or maybe it was like the loss of a loved one, a major emotion that you felt of loss and grief and, and devastation, then anything you experience in your life from that point forward, it's going to conjure up the same memory. But whether it happened recently or 20 years ago, your mind and your body doesn't know the difference. It's just going to respond in the present moment thinking it's real. So the idea behind this mentally rehearsing is you can actually feel it real. So how would you feel now that you have your desire? Really sit with that. That feeling is the connection point. It's like you're the construction workers and you're paving a new road towards your desire that's going to allow it in way more effectively. And the more you do this exercise, by the way, the more you create like a super highway towards your desires and it's going to come in faster and way more effectively. Okay, so emotionalize is the E in dream. The A in dream is allow. We must allow our desire in. Most of us, though, are resisting it. The opposite of allowing is resisting. We have to let go of all the resistance around our desires in order to let them in. So a couple of powerful questions you can ask yourself are, why do you think you don't have your desire right now? What do you think has been keeping it from you? Really sit and ruminate with these ideas here. And then I want you to finally ask yourself the question, is that actually true? I've got news for you. Whatever you say here, whatever your story is, whatever your reason is that you're answering these questions to, it's just a story. It's just based around a limited belief. And we're going to uncover that shortly in just a few more moments here. But this is going to be the very basis, the very first level of uncovering what has been keeping me from getting my desire. Okay. And when you start to see all right, what I need to allow it in, why haven't I been? Is it actually true? No, it's not. It's just a false limiting belief that you've had. Okay. But becoming aware of this is one of the most liberating parts of this process is you're becoming aware of the, the thoughts and beliefs that have been keeping you stuck, getting the same results. And now we're going to start to change them deliberately. So stay with me here. We're getting to the good stuff here in just a moment. Okay. The last part though of dream, the M in dream is making space. Just like you need to make room in a garage for a new car or making room in your closet for new clothes. You need to make space and room for your desire. What do you need to let go of in order to allow this desire in? And so some very powerful questions you can ask yourself is, does your desire have the space it needs right now to come into your life? What needs to be different or done first before you can allow it in, right? For instance, if your garage is totally chock full of junk, let's say, or bikes or other equipment, and you want to get a new car, then you got to clear out all that space, right? What do you need to let go of to make space for it? Really sit down and think about this. Where it gets really deep, where we go really deep, is what thoughts or beliefs do you have to let go of in order to allow your desire in, right? If you desire uh, your soulmate or a dream partner, but you are having thoughts that they're never going to like you for who you are, then that's the belief that's keeping you stuck right now. That's the thought that is keeping you from meeting that partner. Or the same is true if you have a disease. In order for you to allow your healing, you have to let go of the thoughts that you have a disease because now you're identifying with that disease. 
And there is no room, in other words, for your healing when you have a disease. Does that make sense? That's why like Dr. Joe Dispenza will say you have to feel whole right now. Like you can't have any limited thoughts actually in regards to it. So that's what we need to clean up. And that's what I do in all my programs is I help people understand this, that you have the power within you right now. You just have to shed the barriers that are keeping it from you. Just like a masterpiece, right? A, a sculptor is creating a masterpiece. They don't add clay to their masterpiece. They're actually sculpting it and carving off the unnecessary pieces of clay. That's the same idea with your limited beliefs is those are not needed anymore. They're unneeded pieces of clay in your human mind that you don't need anymore. And that's what we're doing throughout this process is uncovering those, number one, and then getting rid of them, number two. That's what we're going to get into next, okay? So again, if you're finding great value in this video, please like it and share it with others as well because I want to help a lot more people on this manifestation journey. I want to demystify it for you. I want to help you connect to it in a real way, a real tangible way that will get you to live your dream right now in your life, okay? So again, if that sounds good, make sure you like this video and I thank you so much for that support. So let's jump right back in to the last piece of this, okay? The big piece of dream big. Okay, so the B in big is for beliefs. If you don't already know this, you operate from a set of instructions and those instructions are your beliefs. Without going into great detail, right? You're, you have had beliefs programmed subconsciously throughout your entire life. And most of you know this, if you've been on this self-development journey for some time, you understand this to some extent, right? But often our beliefs are created as children. Like before we're seven, we just accept anything that we see in our environment, quite honestly, good or bad. And so if your parents were limited, you have adopted their limited beliefs as well, most likely. That's okay though. We're gonna break that generational pattern and cycle for ourselves using this dream big document. I'm not kidding when I say dream big and I'm telling you, you're going to be going bigger than ever before, okay? So here's the idea. Your beliefs dictate your results one-to-one. -one. It will never deviate. If you believe that you're abundant deep down, you're going to be abundant. You're not going to be poor. But if you believe you're poor and money's hard to make, then you're not going to have money. Okay, it's just it's that simple. It's one-to-one. -one. There is no guesswork here. It's fact that your beliefs always match your results. So if you have even one belief that opposes your desire, that is enough resistance to keep it from coming into your life. You must remove, and I actually underline this, all limiting beliefs around your desire before it can come in. And I've got news for you. I'm living proof of this. One thought, one belief I was having was keeping me from my desire for several years. I don't want that for you, okay? I want you to understand that these are extremely powerful. These are your commands for your life and to the universe, okay? So what we're going to do here is we're going to discover your limited beliefs using these questions. What are the reasons or stories you're telling yourself as to why you don't already have your desire? What are the reasons or stories you're telling yourself as to why you don't already have your desire? What are the rules or truths about you, your life, or your desire that are keeping you from having it right now? All right, these are basically the main instructions that are telling you why you can't have your desire. And it's just a story. Like similar to the allow section here, it's just a story. It's not actually true. It's just a story we've adopted. It's some narrative we've adopted throughout our life. So write down in the, the time, I want you to take extra time on this section because this is going to change your life forever. I'm here to tell you. When you uncover this and you start to deliberately change your thoughts and beliefs, that's when you start rewiring your brain. And now the new synapses occurring, the new pathways, neural pathways in your brain that are forming that are now going to start to build up bigger and greater roads towards your desires, th that's what you're actually building right now. That's what you're creating right now, okay? So don't skimp on this part. Really take the time to do this for yourself. The most powerful part of this, though, is you're going to replace them with new empowering beliefs. So some questions to help you spark what your new belief should be. What do you think you should believe instead? Right? Start there. What do you think you should believe instead? What's the new reason or story for why you can have your desire? Okay, not why you can't, why you can have it. Prove it to yourself why you can have your desire. And I'm here to tell you, your reticular activating system, your RAS system is going to start showing you proof of that over time. 
And then what are some new rules and truths you can start to adopt that'll allow you to have your desire in your life? Whatever has been keeping you stuck, if you start to adopt and think the opposite of it, that's a great starting point because that will unlock the desire for you. So whatever it is, find the opposing thought or belief that is much more empowering, much more aligned with your desire. And that's what I highly recommend you start to deliberately program in your subconscious mind. Now, again, we go very deep in my coaching programs with how to reprogram your subconscious mind very effectively. And if that's of interest to you, you can email me at Tony at mindbodyevolution.com and I will give you a lot more information on that. Okay. But let's keep going with this. The I in big is inspired action and intuition. You can only truly be in one of two states at any given time, fear or faith. Fear is all the lower frequency, negative-based emotions, survival, stress, worry, fight, flight, or freeze, primal, emotionally reactive. It's all of the sympathetic nervous system responses, okay? Faith, however, it's the parasympathetic nervous system response. It's thriving, it's calm, it's confident, it's creative, it's powerful, it's patiently responsive. Like you're in creative mode when you're in faith. You're in trusting mode when you're in faith. So if life is hard and you're battling, forcing, or trying to control things, worrying about the how you're going to get your desire, then you're going against the current. It's like you're swimming like a salmon upstream and up the river, and you're not in the natural flow state of life right? And which is, which is directly towards your desires. And instead you're resisting them. So we've got to shift from fear to faith on a much more regular basis. If you find yourself in fear and you're taking action from fear, you're wasting your time. You're forcing life. It's not going to pan out the way that you, that you desire. So what do we do? We check in with ourselves. If you find yourself in a fear-based state, do anything you can, anything you've learned, anything I've shared with you in other videos. I'm actually going to link out to a video that will help you shift your state immediately. So that'll be beneficial for you moving forward. So check out that video. But before you take any action, make sure it's from a faith-based and powerful state for yourself. Understanding that you are the creator and you are the guiding force in your life and you're guiding your mind and directing it now like never before. And I leave this little insanity quote from Albert Einstein to help remind you that if you're doing the same things and expecting different results, that is insanity, right? So we've got to break that insanity thinking for ourselves and start to think new, different, more empowering thoughts and beliefs for ourselves. okay? And the very last part of this whole exercise here, the dream big exercise is the G, which is gratitude. Training your mind to appreciate the good and seeing the good in abundance and enoughness you already have in your life is one of the best practices you can possibly do on a regular basis. This will literally help you expand the roads towards your desires, like the construction workers. You're adding lanes to your super highway to get you to your desires faster than ever before, actually. And there's a few perspectives I want you to take when it comes to gratitude. Present gratitude is what we start with. So who or what can you be thankful for right now in your life and why? So literally just take a few moments, pause here, and really take a few moments to answer this for yourself and think about all the amazing things and people in your life right now, right? Like I'm sitting here in my office and man, I manifested this a few years ago, actually. We started building the barn that I work from now on my property during COVID, during 2020. And the good thing that came out of COVID was this, actually, this space. So uh, I always look around and anywhere I go, like I try to find the good in it, the abundance in it. Like there's an abundance of grass all around us, right? There's abundance of air. We always get to breathe. We don't have to worry about the next breath we take, right? There's an abundance of ideas that come to your mind all the time. Like there's joy and abundance everywhere. It's just up for us to look for it and tune ourselves to it. And this is one of the easiest ways to do that, right? What I really love though is, is going a bit further with this gratitude idea with past gratitude, right? Who or what can you be thankful for in your past and why, right? I'm so thankful for my dad in the past. He passed away nearly 28 years ago, actually. It's, it was in 1996. We lost my dad. And I was so thankful and I'm every day I'm, I am so thankful for having the 15 years I had with him. I, I was 15 when he passed and I'm so thankful for that because he was one of the most impactful people in my life actually. And although it's been 28 years, I still carry a lot of what he taught me with me here today. Again, past gratitude. What do you, what do you appreciate from your past? Future gratitude though is also equivalently powerful. 
If you could practice being grateful and appreciative for what is coming into your life, your desire in particular, or who you want coming into your life, then this is an amazing practice. And again, it just, all it does is it expands the road towards your desire or those people actually to be more of a part of your life. So if you can appreciate them now in the present moment ahead of time, it'll only help amplify and speed up the experience. Okay. And the very last quote here, I actually recently read this from uh, David Bayer's new book. It's um, a changed mind. Actually, I have it right here, um, but it's, you've always had enough. You currently have enough and you always will have enough. And David Bayer's amazing. He's doing same type of work that I'm doing. And I feel like we're just birds of a feather flocking together and just in our own lanes here. And uh, if you haven't checked out his channel, make sure you do. It's unbelievably awesome. He is an amazing guy and I'm super happy that I actually recently found him actually in his work because it's extraordinary. And if you haven't already, check, make sure you check out his channel, just David Bayer on YouTube. Um, but that quote is, is amazing right? You've always had enough. If you sit down and think about this, right? You've always had enough, right? You're here right now listening to this video and which means you're living your life right now, right? Which means you made it through all of your past experiences. So you've always had enough to do that. However, the universe conspired to make it happen for you. It happened. You currently have enough right now, right? You have enough air, you have enough water, right? You have enough clothes to be comfortable, right? You have enough right now. So what makes you think in the future, you won't have enough? You'll always have enough. You've always had enough. You currently have enough and you always will have enough. And man, if you just sit down with that idea, man, I don't know about you, but that's so powerful. And I recently heard that on one of David's podcast episodes there. Uh, so again, check him out. He's amazing. But that is the dream big exercise. It is incredibly powerful. It has the capacity to transform your manifestation results bigger and better than ever before. And I'm here to tell you, if you have been doing any bit of studying manifestation or law of attraction, and you've tried similar things to this, I want to hear from you in the comments below. Like, I want to hear about your journey. I want to, I want to know like, all right, what, what have you run into in your journey? And, and I want to make it more of a conversation. So if you're open to sharing, that would be amazing. Cause I do, I want to open this up to way more people, number one. But I also want to create a safe space on my channel for people to share where there is no judgment. We're all on this journey together and not one of us is further along than anybody else. We each live our own life. So how could you be further than anybody else in your own life? Like it doesn't make sense, right? You're, we're each on our own journey, in other words. So there is no comparison, in other words. There's no competition. We're all doing this together. We're all birds of a feather flocking together as human beings, actually. And I want the world to start realizing that, that, hey, we're actually not different from each other. We're actually identically the same. We just happen to look different physically, which is good because if we all looked identically the same, there would be no contrast. Like there would be no unique perspectives and that type of thing. So again, we live in a, an infinite universe on purpose so that we can have an infinite life experience here. Okay. So I hope that resonates with you and I hope this video serves you amazingly well. And if it did, please make sure you like it and comment below. I'd love to hear what you thought of it. And if you found this very valuable, make sure you share it with other people too who have been struggling on this journey, trying to manifest their dreams and desires. Because I got news for you. If you sit down and do this dream big exercise for real, you are going to start getting your desire and connecting to it. And you're going to feel it. You're going to feel differently towards it. Like never before. I'm here to tell you. And this is the secret. This is the big invisible barrier that everybody runs into is their limited thoughts and beliefs about their desire and how to actually break it down. This is how you do it. I hope you pursue your dreams uninhibitedly and with way more confidence and clarity than ever before. Okay. So with that, I'll see you in the next video and I hope you have an amazing day.